That's actually a pretty good choice. Yeah, because we want our children to grow up with good traits, so we can marry them off to equally good people, and then get the traits raised again. I'm assuming that she was the Mary it was... yeah, she was the Mary I was talking about. She felt insulted. Well, I don't care. You're the, uh, you're, you're the failure child. You're being tutored by Baron Hugh. I, I gave you to him. You really think I give a shit? Um, I will, though, try to marry her off to... Him. Why not? See the the kingdom of Russia prosper after mar being married to her. <laughs> I will ruin their genetic line. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty much screwed. This could be very interesting. And that should be built on the 1st of May. Nice, 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 nice. I think, though, what we'll do is, if we can, we'll hold a summer... No, we can't hold a summer fair. It needs to be at least... I can demand the duchy. Normandy's rank is lower than the king. Huh. I guess I could, but uh, I won't. Factions in the Kingdom of England. Can I start one? can start one. Basically, anybody else except William. Because the bastard keeps trying to kill me, but no, I won't do any of those things. Um, I will, once it gets to May, hold a summer fair, though. Those are always fun, and occasionally you get good traits out of them. I'm still the steward of England at 57. And we're still in love. No. Hmm. She holds a weak claim. Wow, hang on, what? Where did she get all those? A weak claim in the Kingdom of France can be inherited by a successor. Does that mean. Who does that mean? I assume it means one of these girls. We claim on Novgorod. How does she have a claim on Novgorod? Oh, I guess he must have been... Was there a weak claim on Kiev? Rostov? Jeez, she's got like a claim on the entirety of Russia. See, where, where is... Ro wow. Hey, you. No, 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 you. Wow. How come... Huh. Yeah, that can be one of those things that gets really confusing about this game, is that occasionally you'll find somebody has a claim on somewhere else that seems completely ridiculous. Although occasionally awesome. Let's hold a summer fair. Yes. This should make the peasants happy. My daughter Anne is a charitable little rascal. She just gave her newest toy to the smith's son. She's turning out well. Done. Everybody lies, and the courtiers in ruin are... Should be are, no exception. One of them dared to speak up and tell me that I'm too cynical, and not everybody lies. Then I knew they all lied. Emma reacts to the... Oh, daughter Emma. After Emma told me not everybody lies, I almost started laughing. I told her that if she could prove that, I would start believing in mankind again. It could happen, right? Okay, so I just annoy her more, but I might lose Cynical. I want Cynical. I lost Cynical, didn't I? Yes, I did. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, the local nobles of Rouen complain about too many peasants entering during the summer fair. Tell them to accept the peasants. He gets pissed. Restrict the peasants. Accept them. Uh, how's William doing? He's still got no negatives. Well, Cynical's a bit of a negative, but my god, that's awesome. 
Jordan has dragged his unfaithful spouse Emma to Crepon before me and insists that I should punish her. This is a waste of my time that annoys him. How come he's matrilineally married? That's weird. Why is he bothering me about it? She's in Reggio. Uh, she'll be locked in the stock. She will not be happy about the punishment. Why do I care? She doesn't like me anyway. And Jordan could be useful. He could be. Probably not, but he could be. She'll be locked in the stock. I know, I know, I can hear you all going, Hypocrite! Hypocrite! And yes, I am, but I'm also the Lord of Mortain. Lord of Mortain must make decisions. The Duke of Norfolk is the leader of lowering crown authority. I do not care. It was great fun while it lasted. Yes, indeed it was. I think we might need to go on another hunt. If we can, can we? We can, as soon as it turns into September. Duke of Gloucester. Mayor Franck, would you stop it? I will have you executed. I will execute you. Don't think I won't. I will. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Okay. Um, I've managed to fabricate a claim on the county of Evreux. Get a strong claim on it. How many levies can he raise? Presumably lots. Um, hmm. It's too late, really. I mean, I could fight him, but I'd probably lose. He's got lots of troops. How many do I have? I have 500. Yeah, I've got about 500. His levy size is reduced, though. I think not everybody would join him. I don't know, opinion of his liege. Yeah, not everybody would join him. I say... We take it. Now, if we paused... Just for a second there... Can we look at the relative strength of these guys? Not really. He can call in the Duke of Bread, Duke of Bradford, the Duke of Bedford. I can call in the Count of Warwick. William's daughter's Emma's brother-in-law. <laughs> cannot call to war. You can earn, as a vassal, you can only call other vassals to war in the same realm. William's daughter, as in William de Normandy's daughter, uh, William de Normandy's, yeah, William de Normandy's daughter, she might come to war with me, if she likes me enough. And the allies he has, but I don't think, I think as his primary title exists here, he and I will fight it out privately, while these guys can't help, I think. But we've got enough gold, so I should be able to declare war on him. Yes, yes I can. If we win, we gain the County of Evreux. If we lose, we lose 100 prestige. Uh, 150 prestige and some money. That's worth it. Go. Do it. We can call in allies. Maybe we like you more than your enemy. Maybe we like your enemies too much. That's okay. I can live with that. Raise all of the troops. Form them up. Hamelin. Yes, you get to lead the army. We will need mercenaries for this, so let's see. Who's cheap? Who's fairly cheap that we can get 
for not much money. How much do we make? We make 3.76, so we need enough men. The Irish band, they look good. Yes, they will do nicely. We can keep this war going for a while if we need to. Peace be with you, I accept your demand that not... Uh, okay, that's fine. Of course I will honour my obligation and answer your call to war. Excellent. Uh, dear father-in-law, may you live in harmony and contentment. We can unfortunately not join your war. That's fair enough. But as far as I can tell, it's me versus him. And as long as we take a rue, patience is a virtue. Sometimes it gets on my nerves. Good, I cannot abide recklessness. Yeah, do that. Uh-oh. Come on, guys. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Do it. Yes. Victory. Ranulf Drango is captured. Uh, I have no idea who he is. We can release him. We'll keep him, for now. Aha! Uh -huh. And now, he's complaining about it. We'll be merciful. Yeah, alright, we'll be merciful. Nice. Okay. So, Siege of Evru. We gained a good bit of war score for demolishing most of his army. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And as I was saying, William the Conqueror will not get involved in this war. Because he is under um, Crown Law. And High Crown Law says that the King cannot get involved in wars between vassals. We fall under French Crown Law, which disagrees with that interpretation. Muhaha, ha ha, ha ha. Okay. Now, as long as we can take Evru, we will continue to gain war score, which is perfect, because then we can disband those guys. King William of England died after a period of illness. Well, that's a damn shame. Fancy that. People aren't going to be trying to kill me anymore. We'll release him. If you release him, your vassals get a plus ten to uh, their liking of you, and that would be very good for us now, because it means that the vassals we raise troops from won't be as annoyed. I'm pretty sure the only person who gave us troops, though, was uh, Baron Hugh. I don't know. No, these guys gave us troops, too. Apparently, anyway. Nice. Now, again, we could assault the holding, but there's no point. Mary de Harcourt became a brilliant strategist. And she's betrothed to them. Okay. Trust can marry. I wish. <laughs> Let's go with that. Done. We're expecting an answer. Accept it. Duchess of Somerset has founded the Prince Richard for England. Actually, yeah, that, that's a good question. Who is King? King Robert. So who is the Duke of Normandy? Oh, you are. Balls. <laughs> I was really hoping that we'd be able to use up the Duchy of Normandy from somebody. Uh, damn. He didn't get involved, did he? Nope. No, he did not. Countess Adele has joined the Prince Richard for England faction. I don't care. Not my problem. Not my monkeys. It's owned by the king. That's owned by the king. It's owned by the king. Turned by the prince. Um, go annoy him some more. Would you like to become my steward? Sure. Why not? Cool, cool. So we can afford to keep this war going for a while. Hunger strikes the fastness under siege. Hunger bites. And that would be a really, really good way to end off this set, managing to. Uh, conquer a new place. Robert de Normandy is now known as the Just. That's nice. Ooh, that's a big garrison. Mere Franck died of poor physique. Should have exercised more. So what do we get there? We control 
Evru, that gave us a plus 14. That's nice. Patience is a virtue. I say it is. Continue. Now, hopefully, William won't die before we win the war, because that would be awfully awkward and embarrassing. But hopefully, if we conquer most of it, we should be fine. The Duchess of Northumberland has joined that. So let's have another look at the countries. Just pause time there for a second. England has remained remarkably unfractured. While France has done the whole I will crumble into a thousand little mini feeding counts thing. But strangely, nobody's united Ireland yet. Munster usually manages to do that. The Duke of Munster here. He usually manages to take Lannister, sometimes kill there, and then join from there. But it hasn't happened yet. Scotland might actually form the Kingdom of Ireland. And Wales is still just as fractured as it always is. I finally stand before the destination of the Crusade. What? Leading troops in Sir. What? Uh, good? I gain the trait Crusader. What? Oh no. Oh no. God damn it. <laughs> oh, as the vassal to a king, despite the fact that refusing to go on the crusade ourselves, we got appointed to command of some of the army, and still ended up in the Holy Land. I was wounded in the thick of battle, of course I was. God damn it. Oh no. This could end very, very badly. Come on, hurry up, the siege! I've been sent to... Oh, okay, that's a safe little billet. At least I'm not leading bloody troops in battle at the age of 59. Uh, gain diplomacy. Who are you again? Ah, oh, right, genius daughter. Um, yeah, why not? Um, actually, hang on. Gets envious, gets envious, gets diplomacy. Yeah, be kind. Being kind is a good thing. 60%, come on, come on, come on. At least he's not leading this army. That could be awfully awkward if he was. And then suddenly he died. Army of Lambert. Okay, so where is... Where are you? You're reigning in Evru. Under pressure from powerful faction, King Robert of England has agreed to lower crown authority. Doesn't matter, he still can't join the war. Prince William has founded the Prince William for England faction. Hunger strikes the fastness under siege. Oh, good. Excellent, excellent. It's January 1st, 1093. So, we've been... He's been ruling for almost 30 years. Good old Count. That's pretty damn good. She declared the Somersetian War for Prince Richard's claim. Doesn't affect us. Well, it does, but uh, not very much. Prince William faction has disbanded. Wait, what? Hang on, who are you fighting for? For Edgar. Oh. He's fighting for somebody else. Well, there goes England. That might be the end. Army of William. Army of William who? Wait, what? Who am I fighting against? She's fighting against King Robert. Oh dear. That's awkward. Oh well. We'll deal with it later. Come on. Finish the siege. Sometimes enemies will f uh, crumble. The pressure. Let's see. He says no, it's just a flesh wound. Hamlin de Harcourt. He's my grandson. He's slow. Um, let us give him to... Can I give him to somebody else? Let's see, I'll give him to the king. If the king will take him. Educate a child. Uh, no, you can educate... Where is he? Where's Hamelin? Hamelin. If you want. No, not, not 
Prince Richard. I want to give him to the king. There you go. Yay, the king will like me more. He probably won't be king in a few days, but eh. Not my problem. Uh, your legend. Ah, uh, your wisdom and mercy. Blah, 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 blah. Your legend and uh, wisdom and mercy are legendary. I accept the guardianship. Done. Sorry, got a little tongue twisted there. <laughs> I guess that would happen when you've been recording for three hours straight. But I'll f I'll finish up the set in a few minutes afterwards. Uh, after we've taken Everu, if we get Everu, I'm hoping we do. Because that would be a nice little uh, bit that we could claim, because we'll have more Tain, Everu, and after a generation or so... Ew. That wouldn't be half bad at all. Siege of Alencon. 76. Will you accept peace now? No, I'm losing, but I won't give up yet. Okay, whatever. We can keep this war going for a while, you know. I'm pretty sure, though, that he loses after he loses all of Everu. Because it's the territory in question. Anne asks if a tree falls in the woods and there's no one there to hear it, does it make a noise? Well, you think about that. King Robert favours Prince Simon. Still not our monkeys, and still not our circus. Okay. King Robert favours himself. You, sir. Will you surrender now? Count Robert of Warwick has done absolutely jack diddly poop. Yes, you have lost the war. Indeed you have, sir. Indeed you have. Done. Count William of Mortain has usurped the title of County of Evreux from Count Edward of Paris. Done. The claim on Mortain one to the pitiful Count William. Tales of your misdeed are told from Ireland to Cathay. Where's Cathay? I accept your offer of peace. Good. Ah, ah, pause. I have become the Count of Evreux. Vassal inheritance warning. Okay. Ah, but I can still determine that, can't I? I can make... Yes, I can give him a different person in succession. Um, let's give it to Osmond. Why not? And we'll appoint... Eh, we won't bother appointing a successor for you. Not important. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. So we can dismiss our mercenaries. Go away. And now, we own this. How cool is that? That's very cool. I thought it was very cool. That's very, very, very cool. And we don't get a uh, penalty because we're the same culture. Nice. Cool. So now, technically, if we wanted to, I believe we could, seeing as we own half of the duchy, Oh, no, we couldn't. We could declare war on him for independence and then claim it. I think we can also demand it. Opinion at least 25, rank is Duke. Can be given away. Ah, no, we can't demand it yet because he's in the middle of a civil war. But we could afterwards. So I think we'll end this set here on a successful ending with a new county two new counties if you count the one that we'll be getting in a generation or so. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of this Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2.